to go for an attack option, it's always a risk. Like if I shield, then I can potentially like drop a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Anyways, we have Crimp Voice versus Poke. Actually, a matchup that we've seen a lot lately. Yeah. And it's been shifting into Crimp Voice's favor as of recent times. Yeah, but like hey, all, all the other seasons. Uh, yeah, all the other seasons. Poke, Poke, Poke is like Crim's Chris Kryptonite. But then this most recent season, uh, Chris actually has I think a two-one record over Poke or a one-zero -oh record over Poke. I can't remember which. And um, it's weird because when you watch their sets, like it always starts off strong for Poke, but then. Diddy and Banana is so hard to kill. So, never mind. But uh, not when Diddy, you do that. Diddy didn't have the banana. Yeah, yeah. Luigi has a banana. And he got the when banana off When you do that, piece. though, when you do that, it's like, no, it's nowhere near as difficult, you know? It's, like, if you can use Diddy's banana effectively against him, and, like, you know, you can, like, uh... Yeah. The thing about Diddy Kong is that if you don't have a banana, if he, if he, if you have his banana, he'll try to bait you into using it. To wasting it because it's so much easier. Like when you bait him into using it like carelessly, it's not that big of a loss for him because you know he just needs to get stage control and pull out another one. Yeah. For you, it's like you have to do this and that and uh, murder the president to get the banana back. You know? And uh, like part of the problem is that uh, oh, when you're holding Diddy's big. banana, you lose a lot of your options. You can't grab anymore. You can't do like pretty much all of your normals. And he still has the command grab at you too. Like yeah, Diddy's a lot better with the bananas than most other characters in this game. Mostly because he has a command. Well, grab. yeah, maybe because like it makes sense, right? Yeah, like, he yeah. he's the one who pulls it out. The one who has a banana rules all. But uh, we haven't been talking about the match that much. We've just been talking about Diddy Kong, mm -hmm. and Polka has been roughing up Crimfoyish quite nicely here. He's been playing it really safe. He's grabbed the banana and then sat back and shot fireballs and stuff like that. Um, and I mean, he's got a pretty big lead. He doesn't even really need to be that safe. Yeah, I feel like uh, I wonder if Up Smash would have killed there. It is battlefield, but there is a lot of rage on this monkey. So, oh, and this, yeah, nice. I knew it. Ooh. And really good fade back. Wait a minute. He, yeah, that's true, actually. Look, you know what's crazy about that? When he re the ledge there, he had invincibility. That's because he, he landed touched, yeah, he went touched back the off. stage. That's, that's a crazy mix up, yeah. you know? Like, and that, so that Cyclone, like, it's so weird like to like try and punish. Mm -hmm. Like, when it, in that specific scenario. Yeah. Because you really want to get the edge trump, but you know it's coming. You know? the, only thing, the only thing Chris could have done is like drop shield and then run off and down air or back air. And now here we have the. The infamous I live forever monkey. We need a zookeeper. Yeah. Poke, well, <laughs> Poke definitely read that side B, but Luigi's tiny little plumber legs. He'd been eating too much uh, spaghetti and meatballs, can't run that fast. And now, honestly, like, just the thing about this scenario is, and wow, he's gets dead, to kill convincingly there, but yeah, he's not going to make it back. He tries a bit too hard to make sure it wasn't a two sock. Mm -hmm. It was a JV. JV so yeah. but you do you really count that? I think the whole important the important point of having a two stock is making sure you just hold on. You don't get hit by that most of the time read that will take your last stock. At least at this level. But what if, what if you think of it like I'm not gonna get hit by anything that'll kill me unless it wins through the game. Like you're okay with getting hit by something that'll kill you if you went through the game and that we saw like a suicide fair there. That's uh, a good point. Poke, Poke might not have gotten hit by anything else that would have killed him, and he would have gotten the two-star. But you never know. But he was okay with getting hit by that. Same. Anyways, uh... And now at this point, just... The thing about Diddy versus Luigi in this matchup is that Diddy's damage output, although it's, like, consistent, it's not the strongest, you know? Yeah. They're, like, way stronger ones, and then there's Luigi. It's, like, one consistent stream of just... Never mind. But... Yeah, that's, that's random, uh, whether you drop the banana when you get hit. That's kind of just bad luck for Poke. Okay, that could have been bad for Kumpoish. Yeah. Good, good use to decide B, actually, because it has invincibility on the start off. I've actually heard some, some Diddy Kong players say they think this matchup is even. Uh, you know what? Honestly, like, the more and more that you play Luigi, you know, like, I used to think Fox just got slaughtered by Luigi, but honestly, like, I think it's even now. You think it's even? I actually do think, like, okay. Wow. There are times where it's, like, uh, well, okay, maybe like just slightly Luigi's favorite, yeah, but, yeah. Okay. but like there are times I'm just like, I can keep him out, you know, like, mm -hmm. like just back air, you know, like if he tries back, to up smash me, up to wall. I can like, I can condition him to try and like come in with like an up smash or something and I can kill him for it, you know? That's the thing about Luigi's that like, what does he really have in terms of neutral and approaching? Yeah, you, you've got to be really smart, clever with Luigi if you want to get those huge conversions, because you got to win neutral first. And Poke's a... Poke's a pretty smart player, he's able to do that. Sometimes he'll just run at you and grab you. Because he knows you're not expecting it. And wow, the double down to up smash prince. And that's the thing about Diddy's Coco Firms. I mean, like, 
You can complain about them, but they are unreliable at times. Yeah. I feel like falling out of the up smash is based on the initial position. It's also, I think it's also like a character yeah. thing, you know, like Luigi. Yeah, yeah, a character thing as well. Like Luigi is floating, man. Like it's gonna be hard to uh, to hit him with it. Someone like maybe Sheik. Forget about it. You know, like. And now we wait. At this point, like it's uh any it's anybody's sock at this point because this is how high the percentages are. And wow, I, you know, like when you're going for edge guards at this percent, it's kind of weird because. Would you rather just keep stage control and that back air will do it? Mm -hmm. Would you rather just keep stage control and you know have a presence there, or would you rather try and threaten him off stage? I feel like Luigi can safely threaten Diddy off stage because even if he misses the edge guard, he's not gonna. Diddy can't come up and like edge guard you in the process of recovery. Yeah. He has to commit to those barrels. And that up tilt just. Yeah. Get out of here. I feel like that's <laughs> that's the one move Diddy has that everyone forgets. Oh yeah, that's a good kill move. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that. And, and, but when I mean when I say everyone forgets, I don't mean the Diddy players. I mean the people fighting the Diddies. They're like, oh yeah, as long as I don't get like some Diddy's fish for it though. Pardon? Some Diddy's fish for it. Yeah. But if you use like a mix up like Chris uh, just did right there, then you're just like, he always catches me with it. So does he all. This is like, why'd I do that? <laughs> like, when, yeah. when I think of Diddy kill moves, I think okay, up Bana smash, banana into something, forward down tilt up smash, down tilt forward air, down tilt back air. Ooh, that get up attack unsafe right onto the shield and that up B. Sure you can, we'll do it. And Poke's been known for that for a long time. Um, that's only a two-frame window to punish, but he's been... Not like that. He did a get-up attack on his shield. Oh, get-up attack? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, Poke is able to get like the two-frame punish on a regular get-up with up B. He's been doing that since like the pre-patch Diddy Kong days. Um, so like Poke really knows like his his frame data, his timings. He's got the up B, all the up B shenanigans. Every single way you can think of to set up up B, Poke